Hi guys, this is Jen Evangelista from graceandcolor.com and I'm going to show you today how to very quickly and easily make super cute ribbon clips. Similar to what I have here in my planner, um, this is just a clip that I made using a regular paper clip and some ribbon and I'm going to show you how to do this um, and they just make, once you've completed them, they make really, really cute additions to your journals and your books and your planners. They actually sell these in the craft stores. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it and for really very, very little cost or no cost at all. So, um, so there is uh, the clip and that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, your supply list, basically you're going to need a paper clip. That's the first thing. That needs to be a relatively large paper clip. I mean, you can do small ones as well, but the bigger ones work better for this, for the ribbon. Um, these paper clips I purchased from the dollar store. As you can see, there's a hundred of them. They cost a dollar. I can just make clips all day long if I want to because I have tons of them. <laughs> You're also going to need some ribbon. You can use just any kind of fabric type ribbon. Um, this width works about the best. This is about three, eight, three eighths of an inch um, width. Um, you can use a little bit uh, wider, a little bit narrower if you want, but um, just any kind of ribbon. Um, think about ribbon as far as saving ribbon, of packages, of gifts, of like if you purchase things from uh, nice boutique type places like small or even uh, small items, even like from flea markets or things, sometimes they'll wrap them in pretty fabric ribbons, save them, and you can use them for this, okay? You also are going to need some glue. It can be hot glue, which is what I used to use a lot of, or just any glue that you have. This is just uh, Elmer's Craft Glue. Just regular Elmer's glue that um, from your kids' uh, school stash would work, or hot glue, or Gorilla Glue, or just any kind of glue, any kind of adhesive is good. Um, you'll need some scissors to cut your ribbon, and then you will need a lighter or match to finish the edges of your clip once you're done. All right, so first of all, I'm going to take my ribbon, and I'm going to cut about three or four inches. Um, it does not have to be exact at all because I can certainly trim it up once I'm done with my uh, clip completely. But I'm going to start with this. This is probably around one, two, three, four. This is about five inches long. Um, and this actually is a good, uh, a good length for me for this, for this particular project. I'm going to find the top of my clip. And it's not the part that actually clips, okay? It's the very top part, right? Fold my ribbon in half, like so, and then I'm going to just thread it through my clip, and then you're going to take it, and you're going to thread the bottom half, the two edges of the ribbon, through the um, folded part, okay? And can you see where now it's just a matter of pulling it through to make it into this pretty little knot, okay? Now, in order for this not to slip, that's where the glue comes in. And if you go to the back side of the, uh, the ribbon, see right here in the middle, I'm just going to support this with some glue. Again, this can be done with hot glue or craft glue or anything that you have. But we just put a little dab of glue in there, like so. It just doesn't have to be a ton. A little dab of glue. Can you see that? And then I'm going to pull this tight again. All right, now once I've done that, I have the glue in there. It will dry um, clear so you won't be able to see the glue or anything. Before it's dried, as it's setting, make sure a couple of things. Number one, that your ribbon is nice and straight here. Make sure that your V is exactly like you want it. You don't want both sides sticking straight up at the top, okay? And then you want to make sure that the ribbon's all facing in the right direction. So I think that looks pretty. There's no exact to it. You just want to make it look pretty. And then you let your glue set for just a minute. See, it's not quite dry yet. It takes a few minutes to dry, obviously, but it's easy, um, it, it's easy to do. Now, at this point, I'm going to take my edges and I'm going to trim off any excess that I want to trim off. Um, I'm going to even them up a little bit so that they are, that the two tops are relatively even like so mm, that's pretty close you can measure it if you really want to but i like to just eyeball things anybody who knows me knows that already okay so i now have my clip basically ready to go it just needs to dry now 
Now, if anybody's ever worked with ribbon, you know that the edges tend to fray, right? And in order to keep the edges from fraying, we need to set them a little bit. The way I like to set them is with flame, all right? A lighter is the easiest route. Now, it's very important that you do not set your craft on fire at this point. <laughs> Here's the good news. If you do happen to set it on fire a little bit, you can always start over. You can always trim it off. No big deal. You just want to not, you know, damage your surrounding environment. Um, so in order to set it without setting anything on fire, you're going to gently, very, very gently run the flame over the edge of your ribbon. And it's basically going to be, um, you, you're not even really going to touch the ribbon with the flame. It's just the heat that will set it. All right, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to turn my flame on. I'm going to very gently get very close and set that ribbon. And then we're going to do the other side the same way, very gently. The flame doesn't even really touch the ribbon. And now, there's no way you probably can tell this or see this, but my edges are kind of hard. They're kind of um, crispy and burned a little bit. And that's perfect. That's just what I wanted them to be. So now I basically have my completed clip. And it was as easy as that. And again, with my hundred clips and my roll of um, ribbon, I can do this all day long. Um, I can take it at this point and use it wherever I want it in my notebooks, in my journals, and it just makes a nice extra little touch for my books. And, um, and I hope that you get a little inspiration or idea about it and try this on your own. I'd love to see what you come up with. Be sure to share it with me. Uh, you can email me at jen at gracingcolor.com. You can um, head to the blog, or if you're already on the blog, go to the comment section below and let me know um, what you think, if you've done this before, if you have an easier way to do it. I'm always looking for easier ways to do it. And also, uh, let me see what you've come up with. All right, so I will see you next time.